That's right, guys. In today's spicy Minecraft hardcore video, we are going to be building one of the best, and I do mean the best XP farms that you can ever build. And that farm being a guardian farm, because guardian farms are able to be manipulated in such crazy ways that you could spawn hundreds and hundreds of guardians at a time. Not to mention that guardians also drop the most XP possible. This farm is just super OP. And if you guys like OP things, then you guys might want to go ahead and hit that subscribe button to join the Paul GG army because we always be doing op things here in the kingdom and speaking of the kingdom guys i've been building up a kingdom in this world naming things after all my subscribers so if you guys want to subscribe comment down below what you want to be in the kingdom and i'll get to naming it after you and here's episode 28 of minecraft hardcore excuse me sir you have xp i'm in need of it i need xp no i'm just playing guys i don't need xp not after this video that is because yeah we're building a xp farm as you guys probably heard in the intro because i got poo brain regardless though yeah guardian farm on my way over over to the ocean monument to segue this this next segment here because if you guys have been following along in this series you would know that a couple episodes ago we drained out an entire ocean monument an entire ocean monument and with the drained out ocean monument yeah there, there's endless options like decorating it and slimes regardless though we decorated it made it like a giant beautiful end build and honestly i love it i think this thing's gorgeous and i definitely want to put something in it but it's not going to be a guardian farm and some of you guys might already know that because i did talk about the ocean monument build in the 1000 day update video on the uh, more paul gg channel if you guys don't know about that channel you guys should uh, go check it out because i also dropped the seed and the download link to this world in that video regardless though i don't want to do anything with this just yet i have an idea of what i want to do but it's not going to be a guardian farm as stupid as it is when you drain out an entire ocean monument but apparently there's some guardian farms that it's actually better to not even drain it out like there's some really op ones that are better to not drain out and actually just use it fully watered down and we're going to be building one of those today the thing is is that i want to find one that's not close to land like if i'm right here i don't know there might be stuff spawning over there i don't know i don't want to risk it i want it to be like kind of in the ocean like i mean that one would have been perfect um but let's not talk about that one right now potentially this one could be good the only downside would obviously be mushroom biome because naturally the less amount of stuff that's sitting around you the better because you know less mobs spawning on land and more guardian spawning also this is a huge mushroom forest by the way like mushroom forest mushroom biome i think it's stretches right here here and then i think it goes over there and then way back that way is busted definitely need to take some of these uh mushroom guys home too though some of these mushrooms Ooh, this one's looking pretty snazzy i'm not gonna lie oh yeah no land near it oh yeah baby this one might be the one hmm. Hmm. Now that we kind of established, though, that we need an ocean monument in the ocean ocean away from stuff, which this one I think might be good if I build it over here. I'm going to need to collect just a few things before we get to the building process. One of those things being uh, lily pads because lily pads are gonna actually be really useful when you know working in the water and counting blocks away from the water problem is that i don't really remember where a swamp is in this world maybe this way <laughs> I wanna, actually no wait no no no. i think it's this way i think it <laughs> okay this is looking a little bit familiar okay i i think i do know where a swamp is i think there's one literally right over the hills okay maybe i'm lost maybe it's maple leaf i don't know oh there we go swamp by him just where i remembered it i definitely didn't use pretty much all my fireworks that i got on me just flying around trying to find one of these things so why would i do that i know this world like the back of my <clears throat> sword now that i think about it i've never seen the back side of this sword regardless i'm just here for a couple lily pads otherwise uh, yeah no that's like kind of it that's all i really needed let's just collect a handful of these so i never have to come back to a swamp ever again All right, and a stack of lily pads later. We should be good to go. And that should be plenty. Now time to head home and collect the last of the things. Which the last of those things, first of all, is uh, fireworks. So let me just real quick go down to the gunpowder farm and scoop some of this up and make a bunch of fireworks. All right, but now actual things I'm going to need for the build is actually going to be a lot of scaffoldings, which I, do I even have scaffoldings? <laughs> They're one of those things that after I use it, I kind of just throw it away because I'm like, eh, I don't need you anymore. Even though it's like the most reliable, useful thing ever, which I don't think I sorted out any, no. 
No, I just, I didn't. All right. Well, I guess I'm going to need string, which I don't really have that much. Yeah, not to worry though, because I do have a spider spawner farmer, which I mean, the OGs will remember this thing. We, we got, we got a spider spawner farmer. I always forget about it too. I'll be completely honest. Not just a spider spawner farm though, a double spider spawner. So we're able to collect tons and tons of spoders. So I'm going to just chop away at this thing real quick, getting tons of string. <laughs> Wait a second. I just realized while hitting these guys that I, yeah, no, I haven't, I haven't emptied this thing in a little while. Actually, I could just literally grab all of this and then not. Yeah, I'm stupid. I don't even need to hit. Screw you guys. But now all I need is a bunch of bamboo and then we should be chinchilling to make a ton of scaffoldings, which honestly, I just need to chop down a bunch of bamboo and make a, like an actual bamboo farm. So let me just real quick, get like plenty of this. So I don't have to come back over here to this actual bamboo forest and just continue the deforestation forever when in reality reality i could just actually make a farm of course we gotta say hello to the pandas hi how you doing panda how you doing you just a regular panda nothing special just jack black all right enough about the pandas let's get to deforestation We should be chilling on bamboo now so that I can be able to make tons of scaffolding. And we pretty much have everything else that we need at home anyways. So let's just real quick get to crafting and packing. All right, we're pretty much all packed up and ready. The only thing that I realized I don't really have much of anything for is actually soul sand. Something that's kind of crucial for this build. Not to worry though, there's plenty of soul sand to go around. So let's just get to gathering it. And now it's officially time for construction, which I need to remember exactly where. Okay, yeah, here's mushroom forest. So it's got to be somewhere nearby. I'm trying to remember where the monument was that we wanted to build this thing at. Ah, right, here we go. I found it. Yep, just right next to the mushroom biome. We real quick grab my lily pads and some blocks and stuff just to get it all ready. Because once I get over here, it's going to be uh, pretty annoying dealing with, you know, guardians. Actually, no, I just realized that I, I got to go through this thing and get all the elder guardians. Frick. Here we go, boys. I'm diving in. What's up? G. Catching that smoke. Luckily, it ain't no thing. You boys are professional. I did just drain out Notion Monument after all. Should be another one. Yep, right here. My guy. How you doing? You have time to talk about my lord and savior, my sword? Ooh. And there we go. And the last one should be somewhere around here. Ah, oh, there you are, good sir. There we go. Now that this thing is cleared out, once I get out of here, that is, uh, we'll be in the clear. Man, mining fatigue is uh, painful, isn't it? There we go. Now you go find me some milkies. I'm like 99% certain that you can't milk a mushroom, right? Because you just get a uh, mushroom stew in a bowl. What about a bucket? Can I bucket you? Oh, you can, bro. You can still get milkies. Bro, actually OP, I'm not gonna lie. Now with all those elder guardians gone, now we can actually start working on this thing, which I need to go to one of the corners of the ocean monument up in the front and then swim all the way up from the corner, place down a lily pad just like so. And then if I go three blocks out, that should be the chunk border right there and then now from the chunk border if i go back this way and place down three lily pads and then two blocks underneath it break this one and place a scaffolding oh my god i hate i hate i hate these stupid fish all right and then i need to place a torch down on top of that scaffolding and then extend it outwards in each direction oh my gosh bro they're busting my cheeks right now and then now all i need to do is square off each of these corners real quick and after that just basically fill it all in like so oh my god guardians hurt there we go and now all i need to do is extend the scaffolding out three more blocks oh my god <laughs> why are they so ruthless right now even when draining out the ocean monument these guys weren't that bad but i basically just got to rebuild the exact same thing again and attach it so go out three blocks out three blocks out three three blocks and just ooh, yeah, I have a strategy. What I'm going to do is just make a couple platforms with lily pads where I can easily just avoid all the guardians by jumping on top of them and blocking their their view. 
The only problem is, is I gotta set them up and they won't let me. The next morning. Okay, I went home and crafted up a handful of golden apples. So my plan here is to just tank as much of the damage as possible. However, we got all of our scaffolding set up for our first actual like structure type thing. What I need to do now though is actually run away because I'm an idiot and I didn't grab my obsidian. Okay, let's grab a bunch of obsidian and then I need to place down a bunch of obsidian going long ways. The scaffolding. Oh my. There goes a totem? No? Oh, there we go. Okay. <laughs> you cannot say that these guys aren't intentionally sitting on this corner of the ocean monument to stop me. Regardless, I'm going to get it done. So then now I need to build up a portal on each side of the scaffolding and then also wall it in so that we should be protected as well. At least one thing's for certain is that I know I picked a great spot for building this thing. Oh my gosh. Why is there so many? I hate this farm. Why? Dude, look at that. Oh, you cannot make that up, bro. They're all sitting underneath the scaffolding, bro. I hate it here. But finally, once we get both of our portals all built up, now I basically have to do the exact same thing and repeat this process by creating a bunch more scaffoldings on the other side. Let me just do that real quick. All right, now that I got this whole entire portals thing set up, I mean, the, the, this wasn't even the worst part about the whole build. Because now I have to do some portal linking. And I hate portal. Nope, I just did something. As I was saying, portal linking. Uh, now I got to go to the opposite corner because this is one corner of a chunk. So now I need to go to the far corner of the chunk next to those lily pads. Place down a lily pad. And then I need the coordinates for this one because that's going to be involving pushing the mobs over to here here because this is going to be the chunk that I'm going to be standing over. So corner of the chunk, corner of the chunk next to it. I need to place a block underneath it. And now I go up a bunch of scaffolding. And then now at the top, I need to bridge out a couple blocks. And then I need to add some chests real quick like so. And then do the exact same thing in the opposite chunk next to it because this should be yeah, one chunk separated with this line. And then I just make two more double chests in this chunk. And then now I need to set up some hoppers going into the chest on on top and on the side so that then I can place down some blocks and grab my rails, place them down on top of these hoppers and place down two hopper mine carts. Then I need to set up a little bit of a platform on top right here and make a little four by two platform, build up the scaffolding and do the same thing over here. And I have no idea why I'm doing this. I'm just following a tutorial. And if you guys want to follow the same tutorial, I'll have a link down below if you guys want to actually do this yourselves. Then now on each side of the four by four platform, I'm going to build out six double chests. So all all the way out like so and then turn them all to double chests need to place double chest on this side all the way along not on both sides of the four by four then i just need to place hoppers all the way along these chests and then just place some walls on top of the hoppers so that then the items will flow along these hoppers and now all i need to do is basically build like a cubby around the hopper mine carts down there and then inside i need to drop down some water which i actually need another one now that i realize it and then and place that there and then now i need to build a drop shaft all the way up and i need to go all the way up to 190 and then now i need to build a portal at y190 and then i need to build a wall behind it to be able to make sure that nothing is going to fall out behind it and now that i can close this entire portal and the only way to go is down i have to go in and then now i need to break this portal and go up to the roof and build a new connecting portal to the overworld and then once you find the right block all you got to do is go up and pearl right through it hey look we're right underneath our uh our, our gold farm I, I don't know how this is gonna play out this this uh this might this might ruin it and then now i need to go to the coordinates that i wrote down earlier but i need to divide by eight which should be right here and then all i gotta do is go up to y 190 so it's gonna take
take a while. And then now at 190, I need to build up a portal frame real quick. And then also build out a platform on each side, like a four by four. And then build up the walls as well. And then fill the entire thing in with scaffolding, just like this, except for these top ones. They're closest to the portal. Because these top ones, I need to place down some gates, just like so. And then cover up the this top layer and then now i need to build out a little two by six platform because i'm going to need some room to set up a hopper clock which the hopper clock is pretty much just going to be set up so that the items are just going to be getting tossed back and forth between one hopper to the other once it runs out of redstone and then it'll send a signal from the redstone block over to these trap doors and basically let the trap doors open and close timing it so that there'll be plenty of guardians spawning in the overworld and then giving them enough cooldown time because I think it needs 15 seconds of cooldown time before uh, they could go back through the portal to the overworld. And if I just put some items into this thing, I realized I goofed and I needed a block on these corners, but now the piston is extended. It opens up the trap doors. These items are filtering through. Once they all go into this side, it'll send a signal to this piston to push it back, disconnecting the redstone and then turning off portal. Well, not turning off portal, but uh, closing the trap doors. And now I got to jump back inside of the portal and light it up so that we can go back to the overworld. And then I need to drop down this drop shaft and place down some iron bars just like that. And now I need to place down some glass above the scaffolding, put some trap doors down like so, and then some iron trap doors as well. I need to swooch on through here real quick and then replace that with redstone block and that with redstone block so those are flipped down now. And then I need to place down some ladders right there for cramming so that they don't start cramming on each other and then place down some fences in front and some blocks like so and then I need to add some chests just like so and then some blocks on top and then I pretty much just need to waterlog the ladders and we should be good to go on this so now I just add water right there water will then flow all the way over there dropping off all the items inside the hoppers and I need to do the exact same thing on the other ladder just like that and we should be good to go now now, the only other thing that I really need to do is add a bunch of soul sand underneath those scaffoldings, pushing all the guardians up into the scaffolding. Well, also, I can't forget. Oh, my God. <laughs> I forgot because the fact that I was up there, the only corner that they spawn on was right there. So there was just like max amount of guardians just spawned in on that one corner. Oh, and perfect timing to be finishing up this farm because my elytra is about to croak. So now let me light up all these portals just like so. And then just begin placing down tons and tons of soul sand on top of the monument while also avoiding all the guardians as much as possible so that this way when all the guardians are spawning they'll just get pushed right up into the scaffoldings and pop up right on top of them and then ultimately just end up getting sucked right into the portal making it way way easier to getting them up there and now it's time to officially give this thing a test real quick so when i stand up here there should be just enough loaded in zone down oh my god i i did the maximum amount of uh soul sand by the way so I don't know for sure how this is gonna work out or if I might crash my game because there's gonna be so many but we'll see how this goes I'm a little bit nervous I'm not gonna lie oh here they come okay and then now all I gotta do is swing every now and then and that's literally it I take a little bit of damage but honestly it's, I mean if I just put on my chest plate I'll probably never take any damage oh no Dude, there's so many oh my gosh hold on look at all that xp I'm gonna let it all pile up real quick and then I'm gonna collect it all okay so see now the the trap doors are closed and the hopper clock went off and and now they're all coming back through. <laughs> It's just so chaotic. Okay, let's kill this wave real quick. Oh my god. There's so many. Okay, I need to heal up my elytra real quick and I need to grab all this XP. There's a lot of XP before this next wave of oh my gosh. Yeah, the next wave of guardians are about to come through. My elytra heal? Oh, my elytra fully healed already. Oh, and the next wave's already here. It's too late. It's far too late. I'm just gonna get rid of all of them and then try to collect the XP as fast as possible. I can't even consume the XP fast enough. Like, it's piling up way 
too fast. Yeah, I mean, I guess I could just literally stand here forever and always get XP. Like, it's actually a never-ending source of XP. Like, I, I would like to collect it all before the next wave comes through, but I guess that's just impossible. I wonder if I put trap doors right here. If uh, then I could leave the bottom open and then the bottom, they could just shoot out. Well, no, because there's water. Nah, dang it. They're already here. Because I feel like the fence is like limiting how much XP is coming over to me. But at the same time, I... Oh my gosh, there's so many fish. I'm definitely far from crashing my game. But at the same time, this is so many guardians that there's so much XP that it's too ridiculous. If I let this wave stay over here, I think they won't spawn over there though. So let me finish clearing out this wave. And then the next one will come in. I'll leave them there. And then we'll see if it stops them from spawning down there it looks like it's working okay and now i can just easily collect the xp while all these fishies just sit here big chilling i've already gone up five levels and at 140 like when you're above a 100 it takes so long to go up an entire level but like i've already gone up five levels since sitting here and i'm nowhere near clearing out all that xp this thing is actually so cracked now let's clear out this wave and i finally collected all the xp just one swing and they're all gone and now they're all spawning again pushing them through all right well that's freaking epic if i sat at this thing for a like an hour i'd probably be like level 300 plus with how fast the spawning is this is ridiculous okay okay all right before i get a little carried away with collecting all this xp hey how you doing before i get too carried away with hanging out over here farming this thing up what i do want to do is head back to the kingdom first of all to get potatoes because we're out of food we are about to hit level 150 already so you know i might as well just stay for that at least right I mean, come on all right so now let's head home real quick i'll leave all that xp i'm not really that worried about it <laughs> but it's officially time to name some things in the kingdom after my subscribers starting off with heading over to the barn real quick which actually I, I i need more sheep i need another sheep i realize i have i have no sheeps oh wait i do have sheeps actually i have one sheep right here but you're gonna be red and you will also be named pains because pains wants to be a red sheep then i also need a cow which excuse me excuse me excuse, excuse me excuse me nope nope excuse, excuse me yeah, there we go james wanted to be a cow which there you go now you're inside the barn as a moo moos and for the next one i actually need a smoker for it which hey you come back with the face okay oh you want it all right uh, because lucid gaming wants to be a butcher which honestly is pretty cool we don't have a butcher in the in the kingdom yet here let me move your job over here since you like hanging out at this house i thought someone was gonna come take it and then one bonus one for this episode which i'll name this iron golem all right and that's a uh, sub to paul gg because if you guys want to join the kingdom you guys got to subscribe and comment down below let me know what you guys want to be in the kingdom but for now guys that's gonna be it for this video i hope you guys did enjoy the super op farm because honestly i think it's kind of ridiculous with how much xp you get out of it and how many uh guardians actually spawn but if you guys did enjoy make sure you guys smash that like button for me hit subscribe join the paul gg army i will see you guys in the next one